Hello, this is Helena uh, from Poland. Uh, I'm going to go through my presentation about the learning styles. How people can understand the learning styles. This goes uh, to learning pyramid. And many people recognize that each person prefers different learning styles and techniques. A learning styles group common ways that people learn. Everyone has a mix of learning styles. Some people may find that they have a dominant style of learning, which far less use of the other styles. Others may find that they use different styles in different circumstances. I'm going to talk about seven learning styles, the most important learning styles. So first is visual, spatial. And this is when you prefer using pictures, images and spatial understanding. I am very much a visual learner. I love graphs, I love models, I love drawings and different um, infographics. Uh, the second would be oral, auditory music, musical. You prefer using sound and music. And because my... I'm sorry. And because... I'm sorry, I had some technical problem, but we are back. Um, because uh, one of my approaches is uh, learning, teaching a language through the music, with the music and uh, I had the micro teaching with my friend from uh, UK and we created a mini course on music in English teaching. So it is, this is also my way of learning and teaching. And the other way is verbal, linguistic. You prefer using words both in speech and writing. So, if you do prefer reading, writing, you are a verbal learner. Physical, kinesthetic. Uh, this is when you prefer using your body, hands and sense of touch. Um, it's, this is about the non-verbal communication. And nonverbal communication plays a very, very important role in our communication. I will be talking about this later. And the other learning style is logical, mathematical. This is when you prefer using logic, reasoning and logical systems. It is used not only in learning and teaching mathematics, but in all kinds of topics and fields. Social, interpersonal, learning style and teaching style is when you prefer to learn in groups or with other people. So interpersonal uh, learning style is about cooperation and collaboration. And today's techniques and the development of different kinds of technologies, they allow us to use a lot of different interpersonal ways of communication. Solitary, intrapersonal. This is when you prefer to work alone and use self-study. Very many students, very many people, including myself, uh, from time to time, they prefer working on their own. They need peace and quiet. They don't want to be disturbed by anybody. And they focus on their tasks just using the self-study. 
So if you concentrate alone and if you need again the peace and quiet, you are solitary, intrapersonal learner. So here we are talking about that there is no right mix, nor are your styles fixed. I didn't want to rhyme, but this is what I got. And many people recognize that each person prefers different learning styles and techniques. Learning styles group common ways that people have. And everyone has a mix of learning styles. Uh, some people may find that they have a dominant style of learning with far less of the other styles. You can develop ability in less dominant style, but it needs time and an effort. As well as further develop styles that you already use well. So let's say you are visual learner and you could work on developing, improving this way of learning. And a very important would be for the parents to discover their children's learning styles. This could be very helpful. Why I'm talking about learning styles? Just because I'm starting with my new English for Communication course, so conversational English, and uh, for that reason I'm talking about learning styles, because your learning style has more influence than you may realize. Your preferred styles guide the way you learn, and uh, they also change the way you internally represent experiences, the way you recall information, and even the words you choose. I was going through a little bit of research, and uh, the conclusion would be that the research shows us that each learning style uses different parts of the brain. But by involving more of the brain during learning, we remember more of what we learn. Researchers using brain imagining technologies have been able to find out the key areas of the brain responsible for each learning style. They, they talk about the left brain and right, right brain areas. And let's go through the styles one by one. We, visual, spatial, pictures, images and spatial understanding, learning, thinking, challenging, strategies, feeling, visual thinking, visual learning, visual teaching. So the next is, I hope that you enjoy the images, the auditory, musical, auditory sound, loud learning, allowed oral. Auditory learners prefer using sound and music and there are very many of them around us. Verbal, linguistic, you prefer using words. So you can see in the pictures the kids, they are reading something and they are focusing on the text and uh, here uh, there's a picture of the kids sitting by the table and focusing on something which is written, uh, which is written and they can read it. And uh, let's go further because uh, I can see that I'm running out of time. Physical, kinesthetic, you prefer using your body, hands and sense of touch. So kinesthetic learner goes with academic life, a 
athletic life, so you go to the gym. Social life, you go to the disco. Family life, you meet with family for the important celebrations, birthdays, names days, Christmas time, etc. And of course, work life. When you go to your work, you socialize with your colleagues. And this is a lot of non-verbal communication. Just do it. And uh, do you learn by doing? Do you learn by reading? And one of the pictures shows the kids who are just doing. They are dancing or they are practicing some uh, gym, gymnastics. Logical, mathematical, you prefer using logic, reasoning and systems. I put some pictures which I think uh, can uh, give us the impression of what it is. If you are a logical learner, aim to understand the reasons behind your content and skills. Don't just rote learn. Understanding more detail behind your compulsory content helps you memorize and learn the material that you need to know. Explore the links between various systems and note them down. Social, interpersonal, you prefer to learn in groups or with other people. And you got those pictures here. And what I would like to point out that all our social networks are the way of our interpersonal learning. If you use social networks for communication, you are the social learner. If you have a strong social style, you communicate well with people, both verbally and non verbally. People listen to you or come to you for advice and you are sensitive to their motivations, feelings or moods. You listen well and understand others' views. You may enjoy mentoring or counseling others. And the teachers should have this kind of skill. Solitary intrapersonal is when you prefer to work alone and you use self-study. If you have solitary style, you are more private, introspective and independent. You can concentrate well, focusing your thoughts and feelings on your current topic. And you are aware of your own thinking. And you may analyze the different ways you think and feel. Very often I opt to this uh, approach. And if you see the teenager focusing on the reading and the little kid trying to learn something and the man in the library sitting and thinking very deeply, concentrating on the text. This is what I'm talking about. It's in a solitary learning style. The learning styles inventory provides you with a guide to your own personal learning styles. I'm, um, I put the links here for you uh, to do the quiz by asking a series of questions and then scoring the results. Uh, you can find out about your do dominant and secondary lang uh, language style and I just put the links to it. Do the quiz and have fun! It was very nice talking to you and this is the introduction to the big online WYSIQ course by Halina Ostenkovich Bazan about effective communication and conversational skills. Thank you very much. Till the next video. Thank you.